chorus to please step forward for our flag salute and our national anthem. If everyone would please rise. Thank you, everybody. Please be seated. <laughs> Superintendent Kobach, members of the Board of Education, members of the community, parents, teachers, and most importantly, the eighth grade students that are sitting here today, welcome to Titleman's 2017 closing exercises. I'd like to think of the past two years as a journey or a trip we have taken together. Today marks the end of that trip. The automated voice of your GPS would say, you have reached your destination. Do you recall your sixth grade closing exercises when I spoke to you about coming to Titleman? Many of you came to the Titleman experience in August of 2015. The trip began. Everyone at the Titleman School was on this trip together, ready to learn and experience new things. Your class began the one-to-one -one Chromebook initiative that is now fully in place. Think back, do you recall getting your Chromebook in October of 2015? A new math book was introduced to your class. R3MT came on the scene, as well as a new writing program. New clubs came into existence during your two years at Titleman, such as Builders Club, Scarf It Up, Film Club, that complemented our already vast array of after-school offerings. Our parking lot was repaved. A walking path was created between the high school and Titleman. The front of the school was updated with a security vestibule. The front office was renovated. President Donald Trump was elected, and fidget spinners became popular. Although Mr. Kobach did not wake anyone up over the last two years with the inclement weather phone call that canceled school, I had the distinct pleasure of making an all call to parents, informing them that a swarm of honeybees took up residence at the Titleman School in May of 2016. Wow, that was a day I'll never forget. What do you recall? Maybe it was something you did in one of your classes or something that occurred outside of school. For example, many of you had your 13th birthday in seventh grade. You became a teenager. Many of you took advantage of the plethora of opportunities at Titleman. You earned great grades, earned an award, participated in a sport, participated in band, 
chorus, or strings, or participated in a club such as mock trial, student government, yearbook, newspaper, science club, or scarf it up. This isn't the end. It is the beginning of even more opportunities and educational adventures. How far you go on the next leg of your journey is a question only you can answer. Parents, let me ask you a question. How many times have you asked your student, what did you learn in school today? And the all too familiar answer of nothing is said. This, ladies and gentlemen, is simply not true. Over the course of two years at Titleman, students have matured and grown socially and emotionally, learned geography and civics, earth science and life science, music, fine arts, physical education skills, language arts, foreign language, and complicated math that parents often comment that is different than the way they learned it. Look at the students seated in front of you and know that they did learn at Titleman and that they are now well equipped to begin the next stage of their academic career. Students, I hope that while you are seated here today, you take a moment to reflect on the positive role models that you had at Titleman. The teacher that helped you do your best, made you a better student, gave you a well-deserved high five when you did a good job, wrote some kind words on your paper, or just gave you some advice about life. Don't forget the one that loaned you a dollar at lunch, the secretary that helped you with something or let you make a phone call, the custodian that helped you that opened your locker. How about your parents? I'm sure they have been instrumental in your educational career so far. These are the people you should be sure to thank and remember how they helped you and made you feel. I would like to take a moment to recognize and pay homage to four Titleman staff members that are graduating or retiring. Mrs. Claver, Mrs. Jargowski, Mrs. McDowell, and Mrs. Hansen. Thank you for all you have done for our students. You will be missed. Students, undoubtedly your family members are very proud of your accomplishments, as are your teachers, other Titleman staff, and I. Over the course of two years, you've demonstrated your abilities to learn and grow as young adults and are now ready to move on to the high school. Mr. Ziemba will welcome you to the high school and tell you about it in a few moments, but it is my job to assure you that you will be successful there because you are armed with all the tools required to be successful. It's my pleasure to introduce Joelle Default, our first student speaker. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Kobeck, Mr. Lasher, Mr. Simonson, teachers, staff, parents, families, honored guests, and of course, the RMT class of 2017. Welcome to the eighth grade stepping up ceremony. Thank you all for being here to support and celebrate with us today. In the words of Solomon Ortiz, Education is the key to success in life, and teachers make a lasting impact in the lives of their students. While I agree with this statement, it could also be said that the Richard M. Tideman class of 2017 may have left a lasting impact on the lives of the teacher, faculty, and staff here at RMT. Almost two years ago, our class attended the RMT experience in mid-August. And might I add, what an experience it was. I, for one, couldn't even open the practice locker without the help of a sympathetic teacher. So many of us were overwhelmed with the sheer size, mobility, and responsibility that came with junior high. It seemed that all of us were terrified of twisting corridors and of frightening new classes and teachers. However, with junior high came the freedom and the opportunity to explore and try new activities. Whether it was sports like soccer, field hockey, baseball, lacrosse, or clubs like mock trial, chess club, science club, yearbook, or others. It was our first opportunity to learn how to juggle our schedules and take personal responsibility for what did or did not get completed. For the first time, we could check our test grades on Power School and see how we were doing academically. It was our responsibility to communicate with our teachers 
and do the assignments on schedule. It was this kind of responsibility and encouragement that allowed us to grow in the people that stand before you today. I would like to think that we are the type of people who do not look down on differences, but encourage them. People who speak a kind word or flash a quick smile, they see someone upset or sad. People that understand what is expected and do it to the best of our ability. People who have matured into finding adults. This is due to you, the RMT teachers and staff. Not only did you teach us respect, but you showed us respect each and every day. We thank you. It is because of the dedication of the seventh and eighth grade teachers that we leave here today more confident in our abilities than ever before. Yes, it is true that our parents and guardians provided our foundations, but our teachers gave us the encouragement to stand on our own. We will always have the safety net provided by our families, but hopefully we'll never need to use, to use them due to the skills we have learned. Independence and responsibility were not only expected by our teachers, but encouraged and demanded. For this, we thank you. I know our families sometimes look at us as children, fragile and breakable, unable to see the world's problems. It is true that perhaps we will always be children in their eyes, living in a world where we are still needed to be protected. Our teachers, on the other hand, saw us not as children, but as young adults worthy of debating the tough issues of our time. Time moves fast and doesn't stop for anyone. In just a little more than four years, most of us will be leaving home for college. In three years, we'll be starting the serious discussions with our families about our future goals and ambitions, as well as the schooling needed to achieve those goals. In a few months, we'll be walking into the high school. I know the future can be scary and quite frankly, unbelievable for all of us. But with the skills we have learned at RMT, it will help us persevere. We have the opportunity over the next four years to continue to grow and mature as people, to make mistakes and to succeed, to find our passion and our excitement. The only way we will be able to achieve this is to try, try new things, try new experiences, and to branch out from our comfort zone. Because of the foundation our parents provided, and the confidence instilled in us by the RMT teachers. Each and every one of us has the ability to succeed. Over the next four years, the choices we make will have a direct impact on our futures. It has been said that we are most like the five people we choose to surround ourselves with. Make sure you choose those people wisely. Finally, I challenge myself and I challenge you, the RMT class of 2017, to not accept mediocrity from yourselves and others, but to strive towards the greatness that is in all of us. Our families believe in us, the staff and teachers of RMT believe in us, and I believe in us and our teachers. Thank you. Now, <laughs> now may I introduce our second student speaker, David McDonald. Good morning and welcome to the 8th grade Stepping Up Ceremony. On behalf of our class, we would like to thank parents, family members, administrators, board members, members of the community, and teachers for joining us today. What you see in front of you is a class full of potential, character, responsibility, respect, dignity, friendship, knowledge, and so much more. You are all getting a glimpse of the future. We are what the future will be within the blink of an eye. When you look at this class that sits before you, there should be a sigh of relief in knowing that we, as a whole, have got this. We are going to be the change that you want to see in this world. We're going to live up to our potential. Throughout this year, we've all had our ups and downs. Whether it was getting straight A's, an unexpected bad grade, getting to class on time, or forgetting homework. We've handled it all. We are able to look past our obstacles and hurdle them. They're, they are merely stepping stones to our future. We're all anxious to move on to this next amazing chapter of our lives. The move to the big head house. The high school, that is. It'll take hard work, but we aren't afraid to give it our all. 
We've accomplished something over these past two years, whether it was through sports, good grades, music, performing arts, helping the community, helping friends, or just simply rising up to any occasion. We were able to do it all. We're like one big team, and as long as we work together, we can achieve anything we desire. Another great accomplishment we've made are the friendships all of us have gained. We weren't able to see and talk to, we weren't able to see, talk to, and get to know everyone when we were in elementary school. Although, as soon as we arrived at, arrived at Tidalman, we all began to instantly connect with others. This helped us join together to form the big team that we are today. Most of all, everyone has made their fair share of great, long-lasting memories. From funny moments during morning announcements, to performing in school concerts, taking part in clubs, lending a hand at the Builders Club Cemetery cleanup, going on field trips to test cardboard boats, participating in St. Baldrick's, PBSIS events, and even having fun end of the year activities to ease us on into summer. Each one of these memories will stay in our minds as we remember the amazing days we've had in this school. To those who will one day be sitting where we are today, I think that I can speak for the entire class that once you enter these doors, fear is not an option. Focus on the important things, good grades, getting involved, getting to your classes on time, and being open to new friendships. Once you settle in, you have the two best years of your life, guaranteed. Today is a day to celebrate. We celebrate all of the hard work and dedication that each and every one of us have put into these past two years. Now we're ready to test our potential. We aren't scared. We're more than ready for these next four years of our lives. We'd like to give thanks to the teachers for pushing us and preparing us for this moment, and of course, to the parents and guardians that do the same. Finally, I would personally like to wish all of my peers the best of luck in their future, no matter where they may go. And I'd like to say I'm grateful to be a part of this class. Now, we shall go on and show all of you what the future holds, a brighter, kinder, safer world. And this Tideman class of 2017 will hopefully play a big role. Thank you. Now I'm pleased, to mi I'm pleased to introduce Mr. Connolly to the podium. Good morning, everyone. Um, I want to say thank you to all the parents and guardians and special people who take care of these young adults. You're doing a wonderful job. Keep up the good work. Next, congratulations to the class of 2021. You're an amazing group of students. Keep challenging yourself every day. With that being said, it is with great pleasure that I get to present the Bill Poolboard Award on behalf of RMT Physical Education Department. This award is special to me because Mr. Porter is a former coach of mine and a teacher at Tidal. Mr. Porter was a very special man who touched so many lives over the years and every one of them is a better person because of it. This award is special to our department because we, we believe these students possess the same qualities to be an exceptional leader as Mr. Porter. These students are always prepared, can be counted on, counted on to what is expected of them, and more. They are always helpful to others, hard workers, and most importantly, a pleasure to teach. Thank you. The, Porter, the Bill Porter Award goes to Jordan Rains and Martin Angelov. Thank you. Next up, 
is Dr. Semchek. Hi, everyone, and welcome. You know, it is said that the most powerful energy on Earth is the human soul on fire. I am honored to tell you about the recipient of this year's Mathematics Achievement Award. His soul is on fire. He has a keen awareness of the world around him. He thinks logically and symbolically about quantitative, spatial, and abstract relationships. He's imaginative. He takes risks with mathematical concepts and strategies. He is fearless. And I know as he grows, and continues his life journey, he will not follow where the path may lead, but instead will go where there is no path and he will leave a trail. But even more importantly, he is genuinely kind, generous, and compassionate. His ever-present smile and gentle yet powerful demeanor draws you in. I am so grateful to have had him in my Algebra I class, and I am honored to congratulate this year's Mathematical Achievement Award recipient, recipient and Golden Person. John Payne. Yeah. Couldn't get recipient out. Yeah. Good job, John. Good morning. Um, I'm very honored to. Uh, Give the Elizabeth Harris this kind of <laughs> Elizabeth Harris Science Award. Um, many of you may know Mrs. Harris. She's retired for several years, uh, but there might be some parents out here that that was her science teacher. So to today, the young lady that I am uh, giving this award to, uh, she she's a pretty sassy girl. And to quote Mrs. Shustak. Um, I always like to say three things to my students. Work hard, get smart, no excuses. And this just long lady, it's her mission statement. And uh, she, I'm very honored, and I love to say her name, Miss Molly McGuigan. <laughs> Next up, Mrs. Tabler. Good morning. I am honored to be presenting the Language Arts Achievement Award today to a very deserving young lady. Language arts is a struggle for so many students. It could be writing, comprehending, and responding to a piece of literature or speaking in front of their peers. To the students sitting before me, Whatever aspect you struggle with, the reality is the skills learned in language arts are the foundation for success in everything you would do for the rest of your lives. For this particular recipient, language arts came easily, even though she might tell you it wasn't a breeze. She has proven on a daily basis what she is capable of doing, takes pride in all she does, pays attention to the details, and is, is extremely meticulous in every aspect of her schoolwork. Her involvement in the music department and theater never prevented her from doing what needed to be done in, for her classes. Achievement is defined as a thing done successfully, typically by effort, courage, or skill. There is no question at all about the effort she put forth especially because of her work ethic, strong will, and a desire to be successful. There is also no doubt in my mind that she has the courage to take on anything that presents itself to her. 
As a result of these qualities, success is something that will come to her over and over again, not just in the classroom. She goes above and beyond any expectations, but not for her teachers or her peers. She does it for herself. She has high expectations for herself and strives for nothing but the best. This is very commendable. As a result of our hard work, determination, and dedication, she was able to complete the year with the highest language arts average in the eighth grade with a 99.75%. This is an outstanding achievement. Dr. Seuss once wrote, be sure when you step, step with care and great tact and remember that life's a great balancing act. And will you succeed? Yes, you will indeed. 98 and three quarter percent guaranteed. Kid, you'll move mountains. I am confident that you will be successful and with the qualities you possess, you can do anything you put your mind to. I am proud of what you have accomplished this year and it was a pleasure to teach you. I wish you nothing but the best in high school and beyond. Congratulations, Elise Heim. And now Mrs. Connolly. Good morning and thank you for coming. Today, our eighth graders will close an important educational chapter in their young lives and move forward to their next new and exciting learning adventure, also known as high school. They have spent two years at RMT working diligently and maybe even having a little bit of fun. But the time has come to move on. But before they leave RMT, we would like to acknowledge this group of eighth graders for their hard work and accomplishments. On behalf of the Social Studies Department, I am honored to be presenting the Social Studies Achievement Award today. I would like to recognize the accomplishments of a young woman who has excelled in her Social Studies class. She ended the year with an average of 98.75 in world history. So who is this young lady? Her voice most often started the day at RMT as she read the daily announcements. She always came to class with an abundance of energy. She has shown a true interest and excitement for her academic studies. A hardworking and conscientious person, she is never pleased with anything less than giving her absolute best. A truly multi-talented individual is an apt description for her. She excels in all that she undertakes, whether it is in the classroom, playing sports, or participating in the school band. Her possibilities are endless. So without further ado, I am proud to present the award for excellence in social studies to Jordan Doherty. Congratulations, Jordan, and good luck to all of the eighth graders as you embark on the next exciting chapter of your lives. Remember to laugh often, dream big, and reach for the stars. And now I'd like to introduce Mrs. Tara Samanego. Good morning. It is my pleasure to present the awards to the students who have earned the top three highest GPAs for the school year. The student with the number three highest GPA is Miss Molly McGuigan. Our number two student is Miss Crystal Pham.
And our number one student is Miss Jordan Doherty. Yeah. And now, Mr. Simonson. First, I would like to congratulate all of our eighth grade students and wish all of you the very best moving over to the high school and everything else you do in your future. So congratulations. I have the honor of giving out the Spirit of Titleman Award. This is an award that goes to a young person that holds all the characteristics that you've already heard about, such as respect, responsibility, reflection, uh, compassion for others, uh, teamwork, and everything else you can think of that a young person uh, should have as a value moving forward in life. So this young person, whether it was greeting the staff with a handshake every single morning on the way into school, saying good morning, or giving you a handshake on the way out, saying have a great day, and all of the other accomplishments that this young man uh, has either overcome, accomplished, or done, not only in the classroom, but in our community as well. So this award is always a great privilege for me because I think back to some of the former staff of Titleman, such as Mr. Conley mentioned, uh, Coach Porter, Coach Donaldson, Alice Cherry, and of course our own principal, Gene Soul. This award is about characteristics and just about being a, a great role model for others. So Richard M. Titleman is proud to present the Spirit of Titleman Award for being a positive role model, promoting values, and supporting the goals of RMT to none other than Matthew Craig. And now, it's my pleasure to award the certificates to the eighth grade class. Mr. Simonson, Board Member Morrison, please join me. Ready? You good? David McDonald. Joelle Default, Crystal Banks, Sabin Carlisle, Gabriella Coombs, Jocelyn Craver, Brianna Dixon. Emily Donnell, Olivia Dow, Nicholas Fry, Ashley Hamby, Elise Heim, Nicholas Hess. Samantha Jennison, Topanga Coley, Carrie Laffey, Ava Lighty, 
Elizabeth Luberman. Shay Mayer. Michaela Messick Chester. Sydney Morrison. Alexis Nalboon. Samuel Recupero. Louis Abatello. Gabriella Adams. Isabella Aftanis. Shane Allen. Zaid Amadani. Nora Amrun. Martin Angelov. Liliana Atkinson. Hannah Augustin. Michaela Austin. Andrew Acevedo Gallagher. Ciara Becker. Juliana Bell. Casey Benezet. Julian Bay. Connor Bazaire. Janine Brezen. Alexandria Bright. Norman Brian. Timothy Brophy. Kane Bryan. Lacey Calfeen. Andy Callen. Christian Campanaro. Emma Campione. Kenderson Cardacy. Michael Carpenter. Dominic Carrion. Alicia Chase. Tony Chen. Gianna Cole. Aiden Conley. Chloe Conley. Hey, Chloe. Sean Connolly. Hey, Brianna Covert. <laughs> Matthew Craig. Hey, Paul Cristello. Samantha Cruzan. (laughs) 
Javen D'Angelo. Evelise De La Cruz Mercado. Hannah Dinkelacker. Cody Dix. Jordan Doherty. Christian Douglas. Madison Douglas. Connor Eckel. Robert Elwell. Kelsey Endicott. Jack Ferguson. Ethan Froman. Nicholas Gagnon. Haley Gain. Logan Gallagher. Jesse Garcia. Maximilian Gilbert. Nicholas Gulis. Colin Godman. Declan Goldsmith. Cadence Golly. Sophia Gretto. Kaylee Groove. Patrick Hamilton. Haggerty, Haggerty, <laughs> Alexis Hamilton, <laughs> Hannah Hardy, Adam Hassan, Colin Hasse. Lawrence Hastings, Madeline Hayes, Matthew Hayes, Emily Heron, Chloe Hemingway. Devin Henley. Carl Hober. Lindsay Holden. Jared Hopping. Malia Horn Adanasio. Hannah Howard.
James Jamison. Mary Jelishevitz. Salvatore Giampatti Felker. Allison Johnson. Johanna Johnson. Stephen Jones. Philip Jordan. Sophia Kelleher. Alexis Kiefer. Nicholas Klein. Eric Konzik. Desiree Konisek. Connor Koskinen. Brooke Lasser. Cassandra Lake. Daniel LaPointe. Haley Larson. Chloe Lawler. Caleb Lawson. Kenneth Lanker, Sophia Levin, Kasaya Lewis, Serena Lynn, Reed Lindsay, Josefina Lopez. Frank Lowe, Aiden Lowry, Mia Lund, Destiny Lynch, Nathan McCarter, Brady McGill, Taylor McGill. Madison Maglioco. Skylar Maisie. Sergio Malpiga. Madison Mansfield. Trevor Marquis. Janerelise Martinez Soto. Dawn Mastriana. Olivia Matthews. Christina McCann. Carly McDonald. Catherine McElhaney. James McGonagall. Molly McGuigan. 
Ryan Miles, Joel Mitchell, Omar Mohammed, Drew Montanero, Kevin Morrissey, Taylor Mortensen, Dina Mustafa, John Murphy, Amber Musgrove, Abigail Nagel, Maddie Newby, Caleb Nickerson, Victoria Novsak, Christopher O'Brien, Jackson O'Brien, Brianna O'Connell, Hannah Oliver. Celine Ortiz, Dominic Pastella, Dominic Pastor, John Payne, Diana Pelez, James Pellerin. Laura Perry, Justin Peter, Brianna Paff, Crystal Pham, Jordan Pierce, Segman Price. Elliot Prince. McKenna Quigley, Robert Quinn, Jordan Rains, Edgar Ramirez, Christian Ray. Bryce Reidenbach, Emily Reinhardt, Skylyn Revere, Patrick Reynolds, Carter Richards. Donovan Richardson, Abigail Robb, Emmanuel Rodriguez, Carly Rotundi, Thomas Rucci. Haley Rufo, Abigail Russo, 
Abigail Sachs. Gabriel Selinski. Hope Sandoff. Raymond Santiago. Jackson Schiffbauer. Destiny Schrader. Victoria Schultz. Ashlyn Sakella. Misty Shaw. Zachary Shutter. Everybody loves Shutter. Kaylee Silver. Delaney Smith. Mikey Solis. <laughs> Maxwell Souter. Yay, Max. Gavin Staley. Good job, Max. Kyle Stalander. Destiny Strillick. Brianna Sullivan. Riley Sullivan, Jordan Saran, Martin Thomas, David Tosto, Wesley Tosto. Kevin Ulmer. Andrew Vanderlinden. Roman Voignet. Catherine Von Savage. Alyssa Wagner. Cole Wyman. Robert White. Lily Wilson. Peter Wilson. Kaylin Witkowski. Nina Young. Autumn Ziegler. And Nathan Ziegler. How about a big round of applause for all of our eighth graders?
Eighth grade students, it's my pleasure to introduce to you your new principal, Mr. Ziemba. Good afternoon and congratulations, Lower Cape May Regional High School, Class of 2021. Here today are future athletic all-stars, theater performers, mock trial members, and peer leaders of Lower Cape May Regional High School. What's exciting about life is that every morning offers a brand new day with unlimited possibilities. Yesterday's mistakes and regrets belong to yesterday. Today is a day of remembrance, a day of laughs, a day of sorry, a day of thanks. Today also symbolizes a clean slate, a chance to start over, or to do or become anything you want, a chance to go for it. So, jump into life with both feet. Go forward, head held high, expectations the best. You may be su surprised at how often that's exactly what you get. On behalf of the entire faculty at the high school, congratulations. We look forward to seeing you in late August at freshman orientation. Again, thank you, Superintendent Comic, board members, parents, members of the community, and congratulations to the eighth graders here. It is my pleasure to say, class dismissed. Eighth grade parents, please feel free to join us back at Titleman for some light food and drinks and a reception. And if not, students, you may join your parents and have a great summer. Thank you.